Hey, I'm Jude the Buckhead, and today we are here with our first rehousing video. So, it's getting cold outside, so I decided to bring the mantis that was over in the front yard, right over there, inside, because it's getting really cold outside, and it... So basically, we are going to be rehousing this guy into a brand new tank. Now, this was a tank I was saying that had the um that spider in it that we saved well i dumped out everything and now i'm giving it a new fresh tank so this is the lid for it right here i'm just gonna keep him right here because he will stay and yeah so he will just stay right there we're going to go grab some things and i do have a few things right here first we have this stuff it's basically just grass yeah, it's just grass. We're gonna put sand down. Not that sand, that's old sand. We're gonna get some new sand. And we, I'm pretty sure these can actually survive as long as we water the place. I'm pretty sure it does survive. We have cork bark, which is, it holds a lot of moisture in. And it actually feels a lot like a cork. So I get where they, it gets its, gets its name from. And I use it for my tarantula, only a smaller pieces, of course, because this is, like, almost as big as my tarantula enclosure. So, we... Basically, I also have this. Whenever I make a praying mantis enclosure, I always like to put this in. Think I think of it as, like, kind of like a hammock, in a way. Because I... Yeah, I think of it as, like, a hammock, so that's kind of funny. And we're going to go grab some sand. So he is just going to stay right there. Because that's how, like, docile they are. So I can, like, basically count on him. And he's not very hard to find either. So we have our, like, yeah, tank thing. We are going to go get some sand. And I would grab dirt, except sand. I use it a lot more. So, yeah, sand I use a lot more, and it's just more, like, it's not as heavy. I always fear that whatever I'm keeping, if I use dirt, it's going to be big chunks of it that crush whatever I have. But, that is not the case. So, we are going to grab some dirt. I mean, dirt, sorry, sand. Okay, we are back. We have our sand. It's a pretty thin layer, but that's kind. You don't want to put too thick, or else whatever some things you have might just get buried in the sand. So you know, it's not too thick of a layer. It's kind. It's like you know, keep it. Not, don't keep it completely even. It just kind of makes it a cooler effect if it's not all even. Not. I don't know how you would make it like all even, but. And then, do not put rocks in your praying mantis enclosure, because it could crush the praying mantis, because their body is not able to support that weight. So, and yeah, this is also going to be kind of like a step-by-step -step guide on how to make an enclosure. This is going to be Bob the Third. We have had other Bobs, yes. This is Bob the Third, or, yeah, Bob the Third. Wait, no, this is Bob the Fourth. Yes, Bob the Fourth. So this is Bob the Fourth. And yes, it's nice to kind of pet him because, yeah. So, put the cork bark in. This thing holds in moisture really good, especially if you also have like, for example, a tarantula enclosure, like a tropical tarantula enclosure. Mine is not tropical, but if it would be, then it's nice to keep in the moisture for the praying mantis because if it's a tropical tarantula species, usually it requires some sort of heat lamp, which can dry out the praying mantis if they're in like sort of the same vicinity. And mine are because I keep them in like a small greenhouse sort of thing. And I put like a bunch of cactuses and other things on the plants and stuff there as well. So we are going to put this in because these hold in moisture well and they hold in like water and stuff to keep it not completely hot for this guy now 
I probably am going to get some sort of tropical tarantula, another one eventually. So that's the main reason I'm putting that in there. Also because it's like kind of like a rock, but not really because it's like very lightweight and it would not cause too much harm if it did fall on the praying mantis. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a replacement for the rock basically. So now we are gonna put sticks. Now, they like to hang out on the tops because this would usually be upside down on top. They still like, they like to hang out on like the bottoms of the lid that's upside down. So we are going to put sticks here so that it can still get food. These crickets cannot crawl up this. So of course they would crawl up these sticks perhaps. And that's where the praying mantis could get them, or the praying mantis would crawl down this to get to the crickets. And then we're gonna have two sticks like this, kind of like that, or maybe like that. You know, you can arrange them however you want, but make sure they go all the way to the top. And then well, now we're gonna add the leaf hammock, as I like to call it. Now I'm actually gonna grab maybe some few more, um, a few more sticks. Because I just got the really good idea. What if we actually made it into a hammock? If we stuck two sticks. I'm just going to grab some sticks around me. What if we take two small sticks and like poke holes into the leaf and like create like a small hammock for it? That would actually be really cool. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. So let's just grab like this and let's... Just take this stick right here and just kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. What this this? Let's see if this works. So here's our big leaf right here. We're going to now poke the holes just like this and make it into a literal hammock. Oh, the stick just cracked a bit, but that's fine. Um. Oh wait, that's because a piece of it went. Okay. And now, you can put the other one in, and voila, perhaps. Okay, so let's try this out. So we are going to carefully put this into the enclosure. It kinda works. I mean, it still lays on the ground, but it's, it, it works, but then let's move the cord bar through it. So you can still see it, so that makes it better. Okay, so it sort of, oh, it's falling over. I don't think it works. Oh, actually that does work. You can, it can, it's like that, kind of. I know, I think it works pretty good. After that, I'm just gonna like put this piece of bark in over here for the final step. For now, we are gonna put that thing of grass that I had, it was, oh, I can't remember where I put that now. Oh, right there. Okay, we're gonna put the grass in. Okay, we are back. We have our sand. It's a pretty thin layer, but that's kind, you don't wanna put too thick, or else whatever, some things you have might just get buried in the sand. So, you know, it's not too thick of a layer. It's kind of, it's like, you know, keep it, not, don't keep it completely even. It just kind of makes it a cooler effect if it's not all even. Not, I don't know how you would make it like all even, but. And then do not put rocks in your praying mantis enclosure because it could crush the praying mantis because their body is not able to support that weight. So, and yeah, this is also gonna be kind of like a step-by-step -step guide on how to make an enclosure. This is gonna be Bob the Third. We have had other Bobs, yes. This is Bob the Third, or yeah, Bob the Third. Wait, no, this is Bob the Fourth. Yes, Bob the Fourth. So this is Bob the Fourth, and yes, it's nice to kind of pet him because yeah. So put the cork bark in. This thing holds in moisture really good, especially if you also have like for example, a tarantula enclosure, like a tropical tarantula enclosure. Mine is not tropical, 
but if it would be, then it's nice to keep in the moisture for the praying mantis because if it's a tropical tarantula species, usually it requires some sort of heat lamp, which can dry out the praying mantis if they're in like sort of the same vicinity. And mine are because I keep them in like a small greenhouse sort of thing. And I put like a bunch of cactuses and other things on the plants and stuff there as well. So we are going to put this in because these hold in moisture well and they hold in like water and stuff to keep it not completely hot for the sky. Now, I probably am going to get some sort of tropical tarantula, another one eventually. So that's the main reason I'm putting that in there. Also because it's like kind of like a rock, but not really because it's like very lightweight and it would not cause too much harm if it did fall on the praying mantis. So it's kind of like a kind of like a replacement for the rock basically so now we are gonna put sticks now they like to hang out on the tops because this would usually be upside down on top they still like they like to hang out on like the bottoms of the lid that's upside down so we are going to put sticks here so that it can still get food these crickets cannot crawl up this, so of course they would crawl up these sticks perhaps, and that's where the praying mantis could get them, or the praying mantis would crawl down this to get to the crickets. And then we're gonna have two sticks like this, kind of like that, or maybe like that. You know, you can arrange them however you want, but make sure they go all the way to the top. And then well, now we're gonna add the leaf hammock, as I like to call it. Now I'm actually gonna grab maybe some few more, um, a few more sticks, because I just got the really good idea. What if we actually made it into a hammock? If we stuck two sticks, I'm just gonna grab some sticks around me. What if we take two small sticks and like poke holes into the leaf? and like create like a small hammock for it. That would actually be really cool. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. So let's just grab like this and let's just take this stick right here and just kind of like that. Okay, yeah, What this, this, let's see if this works. So here's our big leaf right here. We're going to now poke the holes just like this and make it into a literal hammock. Oh, the stick just cracked a bit, but that's fine. Um, oh wait, that's because a piece of it went, okay. And now, you can put the other one in. And voila, perhaps. Okay, so let's try this out. So we are going to carefully put this into the enclosure. Kinda works. I mean, it still lays on the ground, but it's it, it works. But then let's move the cord bar so it, so you can still see it. So that makes it better. Okay, so it sort of oh, it's falling over. I don't think it works. Oh, actually, that does work. You can it can it's like that kind of. I know. I think it works pretty good. After that, I'm just gonna like put this piece of bark in over here. For the final step for now, we are gonna put that thing of grass that I had. It was, oh, I can't remember where I put that now. Oh, right there. Okay, we're gonna put the grass in.